Right you guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to remove a survey lock which is on a system. Now we've got a survey lock here as you can see. Basically it looks like a ransomware really. It just blocks you from doing stuff on your computer to try to force you into going to this page to fill out their surveys. Now once you fill out their surveys they get paid and then they will give you an unlock code. But we're not going to do that. I'm going to show you how to remove it um, manually yourself. Okay, They're pretty straightforward to do. Now you can see here's the second uh, part to this. There's also a mouse fuck which will start in 21 uh, minutes. Now what this is going to do is basically probably change your mouse settings, i.e. probably change your buttons around like uh, left click will then become right click and your scroll button will all be messed up, all that sort of stuff. They just mess around with your settings. And as you can see here we can't uh, open Task Manager because it knows we'll kill the process and that, that's because it's a lame uh, type of uh, infection really it's easy to kill um, it doesn't allow you to do any other sort of stuff it allows you to open up registry editor and uh, if you reboot the system this will just keep loading up okay it won't let you go to MS config it stops that as well and the reason for that is because it knows if you open MS config up it will allow you to uh, take the tick out of um, the run part which runs when you start the system up this will run automatically so I'm going to show you how to do it. It's pretty straightforward. So let's have a look at the actual survey itself. Now if you look at the survey here, what they want you to do is you click on this to get the uh, unlock code and then it will try to see whether you've uh, cr uh, completed their surveys. Now you've got four surveys in. These are Tesco's, Morrison's and the numerous other ones, iPhone, uh, another iPhone one here and uh, ringtones. Uh, and what they want to do is make you fill these out and then these will populate and say that you've done them and then it will give you the code. We're not going to do that. I'll show you how to get around it. It's pretty straightforward as I said. When you try to close it off, it gives you another message saying, Are you sure you want to do this? Make sure you fill out this survey, blah, blah, blah. And we're going to cancel that. Okay, so now we've got this here. What we're going to do, first off, is we're going to go to the registry. And type reg edit and once we've got this open we need to go to the uh, H key current user location here and um, we're going to come down to software and then we're going to go down to Microsoft once we get down there we want to go to Windows then current version and then we want to go to run and then you should see the survey uh, lock.exe file here. Yours may be a different name or something like that and it will probably be in this location. Uh, these types of things uh, are all similar. So we're going to delete this and we, as you can see here it's in the roaming uh, folder as well. There's an actual executable file and we're going to remove that as well. So let's delete that quickly and we can close these back off like so and then once we've done that Okay, so what we're going to do now is come down to the start button here, computer, and then we're going to go up to organize, folder and search options, and then view, and then we're going to show hidden files, folders and drives, and then take the tick out of hide extensions for known file types, and then click OK. Then we're going to go into the C drive, then users, then into the account that's infected, i.e. Brightech, Yours will be whatever yours is, and then we're going to go into App Data, then Roaming. This is the infected file. Now we won't be able to just delete this because the process is running. You can use many different uh, ways of doing this: Safe Mode, maybe, or some sort of a program that will kill this. Process Explorer. You can go on the internet and get that if you wish. Uh, I'm just going to quickly rename this file VIR, like so, and that will then leave that like that so when we reboot the system this will then uh, won't load up okay and then we can just delete this file so let's reboot the system quickly so we'll just let this load up now and we should be uh, rid of that a survey there you go, that's now gone. And what we can do now is just go back to that location. 
and you can do shortcuts if you wish you've seen me use those before and we're just going to go back here and we should be able to delete this now because the process is now not running pretty straightforward stuff and uh, as you can see we should have our computer back up and running Pr pretty easy to do but they can be pesky and some people do panic about them but don't panic as you can see here we've got a file on the desktop here which was causing the issue which was just a little small executable file but we'll just delete that now I'd advise you to run malware bytes at this stage and also some other programs um, like Hitman Pro and stuff like that just to make sure you've got no other infections on the system TDSS killer and stuff like that okay and I will put all those links in the description for you okay anyway I think that's going to be about it for this video so I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this one helped you out my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos hit that subscribe button guys also rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoyed them and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future so thanks again for watching guys bye for now